Well, friends, we are about uh, 25 miles or so from the border of Texas and the border of New Mexico. And we've got a real nice shot of these wind turbines just all turning like crazy. Shots in the past have kind of been hit and miss, some of them turning, some of them not. But these are all generating the electricity here. And uh, looks pretty impressive. At $4 million for each one of those, that's an impressive amount of money. They're turning pretty quick. So uh, I'm guessing they're uh, paying their keep, generating electricity enough to pay for themselves. And there sure are plenty of them all over the plains of uh, the Panhandle of Texas. We've been traveling now for uh, at least a half an hour, 30 miles or so, and it's looked like this all off to my right. Nothing off to my left for some reason. There's no uh, wind, uh, wind turbines out there at all. But off to the right, man, they are just a spinning. Pretty impressive. All right, Papa Dale checking out. We've got some uh, interesting looking countryside off to the right there. It's been just flat, 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 flat up until now. And now it looks like we're coming on to some terrain that isn't just flat for miles and miles. Looks like uh, we've got some hills and valleys and and we've got uh, some tabletop plateaus that are higher up. We're going, I don't know how much you can tell on video, but we're going downhill right now. Maybe uh, two, three hundred feet from the top of the plains that we've been travel on, traveling on for so long and uh, going down into uh, a different level of, of flatland and uh, various elevations of land. So uh, Papa Dale checking in, checking out, just wanted to share some of the road with you. Well, here we are, friends. Papa Dale just left Texas, uh, just entered New Mexico, and we are at uh, kind of a famous little rest stop, truck stop here uh, along Route 66, actually, called Russell's Travel Center. Um, they have a museum inside and a gift shop in there. We've got some interesting Western sculptures out in front here. So uh, let's go uh, see what's going on. Well, this is a very large travel center here. Got all kinds of stuff. There's the king of rock and roll. And Maryland. And then, uh, my oh my, got some really great choppers, motorcycles. Man, they are stuffed in there. And over here, I think we got a Model T. Yeah. 177 cubic inch displacement engine, 20 horsepower, two speed transmission. Runs on gasoline, kerosene, or ethanol. Original sale price, $360. My oh my, and that's restored into just absolutely pristine condition, it looks like. Look at all of these Coca Cola machines. 
Whoa, boy, boy, that's something else, isn't it? Well, hello, Marilyn, how are you? You having a Coke, are you? Well, that's pretty cool. Look at all of this stuff. There's the king again. And in case you think that it's just eye high, you go up and you can see all around all of the knickknacks and artifacts. This is this is a beautiful, beautiful stop. A person could spend hours in here looking at the different exhibits. Amazing. Look at the cars. Yes, sir. Very, 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 very nice. 61 Ford Fairlane. I used to own one of those. It wasn't a convertible. But I think it was the second car I ever owned. First car I ever owned, I think, was a Studebaker. Green Bullet. Pontiac. There's Betty Boop. Yeah, this is uh, this is quite the place. Norma Jean. In case you didn't know, that was the birth name of Marilyn Monroe. It's Norma Jean Ford Galaxy. Had a lot of friends that had Ford Galaxy back in high school. Boy, they sure have a lot of pictures of Marilyn in here. It's amazing. It's like a nearly like a museum dedicated to her. Well, there's Johnny Cash. Some great jukeboxes for those of you who don't know. Those were machines that played vinyl records. For those of you that don't know, vinyl records were the way that people could play music instead of compact discs. Oh, there's an old timer using the outhouse and he's got the Sears catalog on his lap. Back in the old outhouse days. They didn't have toilet paper, and so they uh, they used Sears catalogs. Tore a page or two out of that, and that did the job. Yes, sir. Carmen Ghia, 73. I uh, had friends that had Carmen Ghias, too. There's... The Duke, little known fact about John Wayne, he had alopecia really bad. He wore a, a toupee most of his movie making career and his body was literally hairless because of severe alopecia. Alopecia is a genetic condition that makes you lose all your hair. This for those who don't know. More Marilyn, more Elvis, James Dean. There's a few James Dean thrown in there. Something else. Well, looky here. It's a 50 che 57 Chevrolet. Now, we saw a few of those in the car show at, uh, at Graham, Texas. But none of them were ragtops like this one. 
And that's exactly what the 57 Chevrolet that I used to own was, was a convertible like this, only it was a little darker blue paint. Very beautiful. Got a little bit of Beatles in here, Frank Sinatra. Coca-Cola memorabilia. Boy, this is awesome. This is an awesome, awesome place on the road to stop. I'm telling you people, this could be just a destination all in itself. And it's free. Everything that I'm looking at in here, there's no entry fee. It's just free to come in and look around. That's, I find that really terrific. Now, this is a Ford Galaxy Skyliner convertible. It was a hard top, but the top removed and came back down and went in the trunk. And I remember there was a fella in high school that had one like this, red interior like this, but as I recall the color was kind of a blue color, a light blue. Yeah, here we go. A Thunderbird convertible. Awfully nice, awfully nice. Here's the front of that Ford Skyliner. Nice, nice stuff. Hey, Lonnie, there's your Camaro. My uh, ex-wife, when we first met, had a Camaro. Looked an awful lot like that one. Super Sport, had a racing stripe. Was a pretty nice car. Yes, sir. Here's the uh, the front of that 57 Chevy. Looks like a 283 V8, which is uh, what was in my 57 Chevy convertible. They sure got a lot of interesting things here. A lot of nice stuff. Ford Galaxy, you can't see a lot of it because the hood's up, but there's a little more of it. It's a pretty one. There's another Ford over here. I don't know what this is. It's Fairlane. What's the sign say? Oh, it's also, oh, it's a Galaxy Fairlane. Okay. Looks like a Super Chief. Olds. Oldsmobile, another Ford Fairlane here, looks like about a 54, 55, oh look at the headers down there, the pipes on the side, that'd give him an extra 50 horsepower or so, no muffler, just open those babies up and it is loud and it is fast. Almost bought a 55, can't remember, 55, 56 Corvette. I had a, had a girlfriend that had one and, and she wasn't real thrilled with it. I wanted to buy it. And like a lot of things, when somebody else wants it, then you decide you want it. <laughs> so she kept it. Well, thanks, Marilyn, for... Uh, the free tour. We appreciate it a lot.
we'll head out. Oh, somebody call me. Oh, here's Mike. Well, what you got there? Subway just waiting for you. Ooh, <laughs> looking good. Well, that was one of the most uh, interesting museums that I've ever been in, and it's free. It is pretty cool. That is way cool. All right, so Papa Dale checking in on the road and checking out. Mm -hmm.